<laughs> okay. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'm making a video again. Uh, and this time, I'm making it about our good friend, Trellis. <laughs> this is gonna be a fucking controversial one, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so many of you cunts are gonna hate this. But, um, I didn't... I didn't, um, I didn't credit Trellis in one of my, um, videos that I just posted most recently when I did, like, a server BG review for Bracket 1. Um, and I should have, but I just didn't think about it. I think I was wasted, and I was only really commenting on the things that were right in front of me. I didn't really comment on all the, all the people that, like, um, that were relevant the whole time through, and fuck, man, if there's anyone more relevant on our server than Trellis, like, um, uh, yeah, no, I don't think there are, um, and you can hate this dude, like, everyone hates this dude, um, <laughs> we've all had run-ins with him in the past, he, he's, um, a bit of a, a bit of a personality, and he's a, he's a recognised one among, like, all of us, he's got a lot of notoriety, um, yeah, um, this dude, this dude, I, I should have mentioned it last time. This dude's actually was a good player. Um, I'm going to start with my um, my opinion, right? Because everyone gives a huge shit about that. My opinion on this guy and what I think. All this drama stemmed from, like, there's so much drama surrounding this guy. Everyone hates him. Everyone's talking shit. Everyone has been talking shit. And he's no longer a feature in the game now. Uh, he's not playing anymore. As much as people might still sort of chuck his name around occasionally and shit... People think that, um, you know, he's cancelling BGs and stuff still or whatever. I don't know. I, I, I haven't been playing myself either. So I've, I've only just come back after like a month of not playing really um, or just logging in occasionally to help the clan do stuff or whatever. But um, yeah, he just, he's not around anymore. Um, I talk to him on Discord um, and I'll, I'll explain why <laughs> I'm not, he hasn't gotten to me and this is not something that I'm doing because like I'm fucking down for his cause or anything like that. But I think I'd just be remiss not to, not to talk about him in a video, like make my own video about this shit. And other people have made videos about trailers in the past. Um, there's been, you know, mass reporting. <laughs> Everyone's like trying to G people up to get this guy reported and banned and all this stuff, and he's he's just kind of taken all of that energy, and um, he's made a monster with it, <laughs> like, fucking, <laughs> this dude is just, like, he's toxic beyond toxic, um, I'm toxic, but he's, like, toxic beyond toxic, and it's a different kind of toxic, it's not like, it's not like direct toxicity, it's like, subtle he has a, he has a way with it so um but you know we got to rewind the clock back to like ages ago and if you're playing um early early launch like season 1 type shit i don't know if he was playing beta i imagine he probably was but he was what he was an asmo player asmodan um pre server merge um i have videos like back back in the day like when i'm like paragon 100 or under i think i've got like paragon 80 videos from like early roes or something and he's like in them um or early early bgs pre roes and he's in them so i know he's been around for ages um and back before all the drama started popping off with him like, th this was going to be my focus for this video. I don't really want to touch too much on... Um, I don't want to touch too much on this he said, she said bullshit about him cancelling BGs and all this bull stuff. Bullshit. <laughs> bull stuff. <laughs> but I just want to touch on the player himself and, like, what he was like uh, and how I met him and, like, my experiences with this guy. So, um, we merged... Olympians merged with this clan, the Fallen... Uh, or Fallen Angels, sorry, I'm thinking of the one on Bloodspawn. Fallen Angels or something from Asmodan. And I believe Trellis has spent time in that clan um, pre-merge as well. Um, so we had all these players come into Olympians that were um, familiar with him from Asmo already. And um, 
when he came through, like server merge, when he came through, there was a lot of bullshit. Like I, I'd through playing with him, um, with and against him, um, cross server BGs and stuff. I kind of thought that this dude was like he was a good player. This is before people had started shitting on him left, right, and center and stuff. And like I, I have no doubt that if he would actually try and play properly. He'd do things, like, he'd do work. He's Necro, so he's only, like... And he was playing utility ticket, so he wasn't, like... He wasn't trying to build, um, like, specking to damage or doing something that he knew he couldn't. Like, he always built pretty smart um, back in the day, so I don't doubt that he's intelligent enough to identify that, like, you got to play to your strengths, and he did that, and he did it well. And um, I will just say also, all these comments that I'm making are not not comments that I'm going to be making, like, just from empty thought and stuff. <laughs> I talked to Charles on Discord, and he has sent me so much content, like, so much content. I think I, I talked to him and after I posted that video, and he was like, I don't like your video. You fucking shitting on Charles and all this shit. Or, like, I didn't even really say anything. I didn't think that I said anything really much about him, but I think I mentioned a couple of other players had been dealing with problems um, that, you know, may or may not have been caused by trailers cancelling bgqs and stuff um and he didn't like that and i think mainly like without him saying it he might have just probably felt uh, a little left out because he was a feature of the server and i didn't even fucking mention him but he hasn't been playing so he is mine now my my rant but um fuck i just trailed off so anyway he he used to build quite quite smart uh when i was playing against him early on i used to think to myself like shit this guy's got um a really nice secondary support necro thing going on like i'd played games with him where he would run all of the like um supportive supportive skills <laughs> to my supportive skills so like i could play hard engage or like hard cc and he could play soft cc and soft CC on Necro, I'm talking like dark her slow pants that like you slow the target 50% and then off that you can sort of capitalize on all of the damage to enemies suffering loss of control or like um, just target slowed. He used a lot of target slowed. Um, he used the golem damage mitigation helm and he used um, like a series of one and two star gems that were like low res buff but like very... Um, very good utility gems. So he used, is it fucking, what is it, what's that gem? Is it Blood Rose, the Blood Rose gem, or is it the um, the one with the chains? This one, the immobilized one. Yeah, each time you're attacked, you have a 10% chance to summon vines. Yeah, he used that. He used, um, I, I think, I'm sure he was using a cursling later on when that gem came out, but like he used just all of the, the good um, low tier gems for the gem effects and he wasn't buffing into resonance he was buffing into like build build like um, enabling stuff with gems like just that all worked around crowd control and stopping targets and all that sort of stuff so it was good to have him on a team and he did quite well and he um, you know he I think probably developed a bit of an ego because no doubt like he could see that what he was doing had a good impact or like a big impact even um the messages that he'd sent me from asmodan um looked like there was a bit of a pissing contest between him and this demo guy whoever the fuck that dickhead is like i know i've had words with that dude in the past and he's been a fuckwit so like i mean not that i'm like blowing smoke up charles's ass or anything but like i know that that guy's a fuckwit um and I mean, Charles can, can be too, um, but apparently there was some sort of um, rank dispute where they were competing against each other and all this nonsense. Anyway, my point is, the guy played well. I've seen now many messages from like server whales, big whales, don't want to really name any names, but I've had screenshots sent to me. This guy keeps everything in screenshots. 
He has screenshots of everything. Like, if you've ever harassed this guy, and I, I didn't think that that was going to be the case, but, like, he actually does have everything screenshotted. So, like, if you're going to harass this dude, um, just be mindful that, like, you're going to be... Like, he'll have the dirt on me because I've fucking harassed him heaps of times. Um, he'll have... He has the dirt on everyone. Um, so, like, I'm even shocked that I've seen players that have spent, like... Let's just say the player that has spent the most money in, in the game as we know it um, has actually gifted this guy skins and stuff for being a pest. So, like, uh, just know that, like, the, the, the people you call friends are you know, the people that you may respect or call friends are actually, like, are feeding this dude. So, yeah, it's um it's way more hectic than I thought it would be. Um, but this guy, like, Trailus obviously, um, developed some kind of, like, ego throughout the whole, um, like, high-performing early on, like, you know, when everyone was still low-res, like, I was doing that too, like, with, you could just do so much on a Necromancer, like, at, at, when everyone else was low-res, and people were just killing it with, like, playing demon hunters and like all this sort of stuff that just wasn't strong yet necro was just like so strong not so strong in the way that like you're just pumping out kills but so strong in the way that the utility um fighting into people that were like a much lower res back then was just still so much to contend with like you, you could do a lot of a lot of work like you can still do a lot of work with necro now but like back then insane so i think he just developed a bit of an ego about it um, you know, take that, uh, however you want, but, um, when he came across server, um, and we all merged, I wanted to get this, I wanted to pull this dude into the clan, um, and I'd messaged him a little bit prior to the merge, and, um, he didn't respond to me, and I was like, oh, this, this guy's a flake, or whatever, like, um, he's not interested, so, um, didn't really talk to him anymore for a little while after that. And then he hit me up like randomly and was like, yo, I've been overseas. Like I, I'm, I'm keen to, to, to come in. And I was like, oh, cool. Like I'll, I'll just talk to the other officers about it and see what they're saying. And then because we'd merged with the, uh, the fallen or whatever, or fallen angels, um, they, the guys who had been in a clan with him already, um, had a lot of bad shit to say about him. Just the things like he was a bit of a nuisance, um, things like he had a loud mouth on him, things like he was quite rude. Like, you know, there's situations where they'd talked about vault parties and he'd gone in and he'd like dogged everyone in vault parties and then said like, you guys aren't good enough to be playing with me in vault. I'm the best and all this bullshit. So like, he's obviously, like, I, I don't know how, like, you know, word, that's not word for word. That's just me like trying to, remember conversations that happened like ages and ages ago with my drug addled brain but no one like people didn't have terrible things to say about him but they just said like this guy's got he's full of he's full of full of himself basically full of shit um so anyway we as we progress throughout our journeys together <laughs> um this dude somewhere along the lines rubs people up the wrong way um he's got beef with fucking ak he's got beef with um like the descendant guys um he's had beef with me he's had beef like i don't think there's anyone really that he hasn't had beef with there we've all talked some shit um but yeah, the, the the compliments this guy's had as well, like, it's crazy, people have been, like, DMing him, saying things like, dude, your build's so smart, dude, you like, you're so good, dude, you like this and that, and, like, if that's not a support to, like, with what I was saying before, him having a bit of an ego in, on him, like, if you're gonna, if you're gonna tell this dude that already thinks he's fucking fantastic, that he's so fantastic, it's only gonna really drive him harder, and then, you know, all these screenshots of him in number one pause, like, on the ladders and stuff like that. Um, he just, I think he's a little entitled or something like that. But um, there's no reason to, to like, attack the dude. Um, and I think maybe he just got a little bit too mouthy with some of us. Um, or maybe, you know, he, <laughs> he might have gone routes to um to fuck with people that are a little less traveled 
um, and like I mean I know about that stuff like you don't, I don't, I don't want to I don't want to give too much away but like um, there's DMs and stuff between people we just fighting harassing each other to to no end uh, and I'm sure he's done that to a whole lot of you and I think he likes his drink too so like <laughs> if he's anything like me he probably just smashes a few and then like gets stuck into people but like yeah he's had a lot of hate um and a lot of people tell him things like just go kill yourself and all this sort of stuff and i he's the first dude to share those things with others that are interested in listening like he'll get on discord and just show you all these things i've now seen screenshots from fucking like i've got that much content with this guy (laughs) like screenshots of all your like telling him slit his wrists and go kill yourself and just spam him with like abusive messages and all this sort of stuff. Um, and then I've got on the other hand, giant bags of cash <laughs> gifting him skins because he's upsetting people and stuff like that. Like there's just so much, just such a boiling pot of shit. Um, you know, great players that like run clans that I thought like, you know, I'm, I'm thinking like these dudes are like, good players are actually complimenting this guy about his build and saying oh, i've got to give credit where it's due and all this sort of stuff like i'm like where the fuck are my messages <laughs> like that you fuck with it's like anyway um so yeah it's just gotten it got to a crux where this guy went from being a great player um and then just being like blacklisted or like cancelled Everyone, like, cancelled this dude. Um, No one would have him in a clan because they had all their suspicions. There's just all this nonsense. And, like, I don't blame everyone else for kind of blacklisting this guy because, you know, you just... You don't want to welcome in negative energy um, to, like, your group of friends or whatever. Maybe he could just be, like, a complete cunt and just fuck up the dynamic of the clan or whatever. Like, it kind of gets to that point where it's... But it's speculation, you know. Um, And I think to take this dude on or to like to to kind of socialize with him on a game you'd have to know him for a while and talk to him to actually to know where you know where the boundaries are for like you to be able to trust him or um you know how much of what he does is actually bullshit or or legit um (laughs) i just think he's funny (laughs) i just i think he's funny i think he's a pest but he's funny and he's playing his own game and that's only something that, like a game, he said this, as well, and I've, I've commented this before, like it's his game within the game. Um, but it's only gotten to that point through him being bored of avenues he's been denied from. Like he has no no team play. Like people, you know, may reject him here and there. Um, he doesn't get um, party invites in BGs. Like oh, I was going out of my way to deny party invites for like a like six months because I just didn't want to fucking help anyone. Like I'm playing a support class and I wasn't going to support anyone that I didn't respect, you know, like fuck that. Fuck you can't stop fucking partying with you, assisting you to get kills and shit. And like, I don't, I don't expect you guys to do that to me. I'm just playing the fucking game. I want to play, but he, he wanted party invites, I suppose. Or like he just said, I don't, I don't understand why that, that upset him, but whatever. Um, he he's gone from being like a good player to then this player that's just got um no avenues open to him and then i th- somewhere along the lines he probably just decided fuck it you know what i'm not gonna even try like you know i just don't fuck these guys <laughs> like this is funnier for me to see these dudes stinging than it is for me to even win games um and i mean you just you got to think to yourself like the weapon that is that is that is killing our BG potentially killing our BGQs and stuff like that. We, it's man-made. Like, fucking, what do you expect? I mean, even if he's not, like, it's, it's hearsay, the BG cancelling and stuff. I will say something. I've noticed, like, I just mobile players in general, when I'm playing, when I'm in queue for BGs, because our queues are so fucking long, I'll tab out of my app, out of my DI app, and I'll go on to, like, WhatsApp or Instagram or something, and then when I when I leave my app and I'm in queue and BG pops, it used to just go in. Sometimes I'd like come back into the DI app and I'd be like in in base and the game had started like 30 seconds 
before I went back into the app. I'm thinking this queue is going to take like 15 minutes. And then like it must pop as soon as I leave the app, and then I'm in the in the in battlegrounds at the big at the base, and the game started and phase one's just ending. You know, like that happens. And if it's not that, like just recently, I've been tabbed between my apps, and then I come back. Like the BGQ is on my screen, and I'm in like 13 minutes or something. And then I'll tab out, talk to some bird or something on like another app, and then I'll tab back into my my phone. Uh, into my di and then the bg queue is is gone and then i go to requeue and it's like cancelled you can't queue again for another 40 seconds or whatever so it's like i know that like i don't doubt that he's probably cancelling some queues to piss people off when like he's upset about something but like it, there's there's it, so many layers to like how that how that could work the raid invite thing and the baby thing i will say so this guy is like you know, as I said, he's trolling at different le- different layers and different angles. Um, the <laughs> the raid invite is uh, uh, something next level. Um, he didn't really comment on those. He said like, "Yeah, no, nah, I wasn't. Uh, it wasn't me." Or I, 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 fuck, I just can't remember, man. But obviously, like I've seen him do this to Athos in games, and Athos has been like, he's spamming me. Uh, and I guess he's just doing that in, in retaliation for not being not being partied or or put into like a proper roster or something. Or maybe he just wants to fuck with people, like whatever. But I mean, he's been fucked with time 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 and time again. Um, and yeah, I just think that, um, the amount of harassment that the guys had, uh, he's still a pretty good sport about it. He thinks it's pretty funny. Like I actually got on discord the first time I spoke to him voice to voice. Like I've wanted to fucking go in on this guy for ages. And I remember I said to someone like in my clan who was still on his discord, like they knew him, maybe Seagull or so one of the old leaders from, from the clan that we merged with, um, I was like, yeah, I've got him on Discord and like, you know, I talk to him occasionally and stuff and, and I'm like, man, get he and I in a Discord a Discord call and we'll make a video. It'll be so funny. We'll just roast each other. And um, I did that <laughs> and it, it was funny. I talked to him for like five to ten minutes and I was just laughing because it was just, we we're just taking the piss. Um, and some of the stuff that he was saying was actually funny. Like I bit and I was like, all right, then tell me all about it. And then he went on and on and was telling us. And then he, somewhere toward the end of the call, he got up to feed his baby, um, which legitimately he did. And then I think I made a comment about him feeding his baby that really upset my 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 guildie. And then like now, my guildie and I don't talk. <laughs> so fuck. Um, yeah. Well, all I'm trying to say is, yeah, this this dude. He's a product of his environment, and the environment that he's been living in has been a, a negative one. Um, and I'm not saying everyone should just be like, hey man, let's all include trailers and like be nice to trailers and this sort of stuff. I don't think you'll ever get that, but like, we just got to stop with the, the, um, but we had to stop. It's, it's over now. It's just like, should have just stopped <laughs> with all the bullshit. Um, but that's the thing, man. Like the bullying is just the thing, right? Like everyone likes to bully someone. <laughs> this guy just got fucking bullied and he bullied back in like the way that he could so yeah like that's what you fucking get um and he did he did want me to play um a couple of songs for background music while i was doing this um i just really want to tab into the conversation with him and that's all the content that he gave me to actually make this yeah, no, I better not. <laughs> I did tell him that I wouldn't. But look, there's plenty, and there's plenty of screenshots. Um, he's not playing anymore. I think he's going to come back. Um, he's been a he's been a feature in the game. He everyone knows who he is. Like yeah, so and Trailus man, like if you're going to watch this, I think it would be very interesting to see you come back and give it a proper go. And I'm not telling you to like buff your rezo or anything like that. I'm just saying to stop playing like a fucking idiot. I've seen you. I've seen what you do, man. I'm, you had those pants on once, those sojourn pants or whatever that teleport you to the target. You just would teleport onto someone and insta die. Uh, the last 
months that you were playing when you hadn't farmed up ranks on your gear and like you hadn't you just you weren't interested like i'm at that point now i'm not farming gear i haven't done a dungeon in god knows how long i'm still doing bgs but like hell eight gear we're in inferno now uh, and i just can't be asked like you know unless they're gonna give it to me i don't want to sit there and grind the game and it's like I don't have time for that shit. I just don't want to. That's the part of this game. that I just want to be able to play BGs. I want it to be a level playing field. I don't want it to be farmed. I don't want it to be gem rezo. Like, don't don't want it to be any shit like that. Um, that would be nice. But um, if you do come back uh, and you farm a little bit, um, it would be good to see you actually give it a go and play like you used to because, um, you know... I don't think that you were a useless player. I think that you're a pretty good one. And I think a lot of others will agree. It's just more so like... <laughs> you probably went a little bit overboard with how you retaliated to those cunts that, that gave you the shits. And you know what? I'd probably do the same. So, uh, I, I, fuck man, if you piss me off, I'm going to do. I'm gonna make Chalice look like a fucking saint. I will fuck with you cunts. Anyway, that's my little... My, my bit of banter on Trellis, and um, if you like it, good, and if you don't, fuck you.